Well, hello there, you fine person sitting right there. Uh, today is an interesting day. Because I'm sitting here all day, I'm stuck here. Why, you ask? Because the government said that I, I need a break. <laughs> I always forget that in Canada, you can only work 14 consecutive days and then you have to take a mandatory 24 hours off minimum. Most people would just take a, a 36 hour reset, then your log books are reset. Uh, if you don't know what that means, that's a topic for a whole nother video, but just stay with me here. But if I don't want to reset, I can just stop for my 24 hours and then I can keep recapping my hours. But if I want to keep recapping hours again and again and again, I can only do that for 14 days, then I need 24 hours off. Today is day number 15. Apparently, one day away from home, I am seven and a half hours from home. Well, probably going through Ontario, eight, eight and a half hours from home. And I'm stuck here today because uh, the government says I need a weekend. Josh, you need to take a break right now, eh? Right now, not tomorrow. See, I was gonna get home and take a full reset at home, take my break at home. But no, the government said you cannot work one more day without a break. You need your break now. So I'm here uh, in Thunder Bay, well, close to Thunder Bay at the Flying J. Uh, can you see it out there? Parked right here. I got here almost exactly at midnight central time yesterday. So, uh, at midnight tonight, the next midnight, 24 hours from when I stopped here, I can get going again. So what I'm doing is I woke up this morning, looked at my log books. I was like, why, why won't it give me hours? Thank goodness for e-logs, right? Because they remember things that I don't. If I was on paper logs, I probably would have forgotten that there's a 14 hour limit and would have just driven. And then if I would have gotten pulled into a scale, would have gotten a huge ticket for driving illegally, for not taking my mandatory weekend. And I would have gotten fined for working overtime. Once again, trucking, the only industry where you can get in trouble for working overtime, big trouble. I could lose my license if I get into enough trouble. I could go to jail if I get into even more trouble. I don't like these laws. I'll be clear with you. I don't like it when the government way over there in Ottawa thinks it knows me and my body better than I do. Like, look at me. I'm pretty sure I could have driven another eight and a half hours to get home and had my break at home with my wife. But no, the government says no. I have to take my break now. Even though I had a great sleep last night, I'm wide awake. I could be driving right now. I'm feeling good. I'm not sick. I'm not overworked. I've just been working 14 consecutive days. Straight. No weekend. But that should be my choice. If I don't want to take a weekend, or if I don't want to take a full day off, why make me, right? As long as I'm feeling good and get my proper rest and following my, my daily requirements in my logbook, why do I need 24 hours? Well, good morning, everybody. Well, it depends what you think a morning is and what a good morning would be. It's midnight. <laughs> it's time to get rolling again. Uh, I explained it to you before I went to sleep yesterday afternoon why we're leaving at midnight. Uh, I probably cut a whole bunch of it out. I was talking for like 12 minutes. I was so frustrated. So I'm going to cut most of that out so you don't have to listen to me ramble. But in short, uh, yeah, I, I worked... Uh, 14 consecutive days, which means I needed 24 hours off. Route. Excuse me. First thing in the morning and you're interrupting me already. It's, it's interesting. How whenever I start talking, suddenly the GPS wants to talk too. You think she's listening? The weirdest thing, speaking of people listening, okay, the weirdest thing happens to me. You know how I go to the gym more regularly now, right? As often as I can. And I don't post about it on my social media, like, hey, I'm at this gym, hey, I'm at this gym. I talk about it on my YouTube, but I don't really make any, like, posts, right? Especially on Instagram, I haven't made one post. Every ad I get on Instagram since I started going to the gym is about working out and, uh, you know, supplements, everything related to the gym. That's the only ads I get on social media now. How do they even know I've been at the gym? They are creepy. Like Instagram's owned by Facebook. And I haven't checked in at the gym. I haven't posted, hey, here I am at the gym. 
I guess I've shared in private messages to Britt, like I'll send her my location every day and when I'm at the gym, I'll send her, hey, I'm at this gym right now. Hey, I'm at this gym over here. But those are private messages. And now on my Instagram, I'm getting ads for like working out in gym stuff. It's so weird. So weird how they know what you're up to. It's creepy. All right, so this is mostly going to be a night drive, so we'll see how much vlogging we can get in here. I checked my fifth wheel. I'm just going to give it a little tug just in case. Forward, pull the brakes. Trailer is still attached. That's good. Now I'm double sure that my trailer is not going to fall off. That would be terribly embarrassing. Would make for a great vlog though, right? Lots of views. <laughs> Not exactly the views I want, though. Here we go. Time is now, well, it's 1.22 in the morning here. But Central Time, the direction we're headed, where home is, it is 12.22 a.m. Everybody else is just going to sleep. And I'm going to work. Well, it's been an interesting day so far night, whatever you want to call it. Feels so strange starting my work day at midnight. <laughs> the time is now just before 5 a.m. So we've been going five hours already. It actually seems like, ouch, you got your brights on, buddy. That hurts. Feels like the day's going by a lot faster than it actually is. I used to work nights before uh, when I worked locally. For a while i always enjoyed the nights because they're so much more peaceful not that there's just less traffic but there's just less noise in general you know it's just peaceful i've always been a bit of a night owl dryden ontario it's mm, 10 after 5 in the morning coffee time second coffee of the day already and it's 5 a.m <laughs> Fun times. I'm just gonna park right here in front of these pumps and just grab a coffee. I'm not gonna go in and have a shower and have breakfast. Don't worry. It's nice to see that the big ball of fire in the sky has decided to join us today. Seems like the night lasted forever, but I'm just not used to this schedule at all. I have 200 kilometers or 120 miles left to go. According to the sign, it's 194 kilometers. And uh, we've been driving for about six, six and a half hours already. And now the sun just rises. I still have a full day at home yet. That's why I pushed it to get home. I'd like to go to the gym today yet. Uh, we've got to do a dump run, so we've got to take our garbage away. Uh, what else we got? We got to get Britt completely ready to jump in the truck with us tomorrow. So we got to get all her stuff packed in here. I've also got to clean this truck out the best I can with the time I have. Uh, I've got to do all my laundry from the last two weeks. I wanted to go visit my mom and also bring her my tax papers, but. I don't think we'll have time for that, and I don't want to just drop off my tax papers there with her and leave. I, I don't like showing up there and just, you know, dropping off tax stuff and leaving. It's, I don't feel good about that. I want to go there when I can actually spend some time visiting with her. But she works every day of the week except Sundays. So Sunday is the best day to go visit her. But today is not Sunday. So she's going to be busy working today anyway. It's tax season, and as an accountant who owns her own business, uh, she's got clients coming in like, probably now already till late at night. So uh, hopefully I can be back for next weekend and I can go visit her on next Sunday and then uh, get everything done there. But other than that, we still got a lot of stuff to get done today and we've got to be in bed pretty early, which shouldn't be a problem for me because I've been up all night already. We've got to be... Uh, up for to, to go to work. We've got to get everything loaded into the truck tonight so that we can wake up tomorrow, load everybody up in here, and uh, drag our butts over to Alberta. I'll probably make it to Saskatoon tomorrow. 
or we will, because Britt and the dogs will all be with me. I'm really looking forward to this. This is uh, gonna be exciting. It's gonna be a little cramped in here, but I, I, I think cozy would be a better word to describe. It's gonna be nice and cozy. I guess Britt's training will begin tomorrow then. Not the official training, but I can't let her drive the truck yet. But, uh, you know, I can start, I can start the process. Did we make it home? Diesel! Oh, we all missed you, Diesel. We all missed you. I didn't film when I first got home. He was so excited. You were dancing, weren't you? <laughs> yes, you were. Are we all gonna go on the truck in the next trip? Are we all gonna go? All of us at one time? Yeah? You wanna go on the truck? I missed him. It's two whole weeks, the longest I've ever been away from you. Ever. You had a good time though, I heard. Yeah. You're a good boy. So yeah, we're just uh, <laughs> pretty much just getting everything done really quick so that we could possibly leave tonight or tomorrow morning. This machine's gonna be busy all day. That and that. Got some laundry in here. Britt has already been packing. So she's pretty much ready to go. We've got to do a dump run, like I was telling you before, bring her garbage away to Steinbach. Got a few more things, and there she is. <laughs> Putting on her socks, extra awkward. Just put on my grubby workout clothes for the garbage run. I don't want to wear good stuff, so. Trucker Brit. <laughs> I'm not a trucker yet. Soon. He's going for a license. He's Excited. so proud. He's so proud. All I've done so far is study the manual and highlight everything. And he's just like over the moon. <laughs> this was all your idea. I didn't influence you at all. No, I've been thinking about it since we started dating. I just never said anything because I wasn't sure about it. And now that we're taking a while to have a family, I'm sure. So cool. So she's coming with on this trip to Alberta and back. Uh, doesn't have her learners yet, but uh, we're working on that part. And then from then on, I think I'll be able to train her from what I've heard. We still gotta go in and talk to work and stuff, but. I test pretty well. So a couple more days of just studying while I'm on the truck and I'll call and see if I can make the appointment via phone. I don't mm -hmm. think I'll be able to though, cause I think they need my, my medical sheet saying that I'm good to go. Probably, yeah. Which I have done. I went to the doctor, but we'll see. So yeah, we got the medical done. Uh, the learner test is just a written test. And then after that, you gotta study and go through the, the whole curriculum. And then you go for the road test. And if you pass the road test, you get your official commercial license. I mean, I don't wanna be cocky, but 
I've seen some of Steve's livestock drivers. Oh, she's calling out names. And uh, they throwing... can do it. <laughs> I can do it. I'm sorry, Steve's livestock, but <laughs> some of your drivers are great people, but all your new recruits, oh, no. I was stuck behind a guy on the, on the highway doing 70 the whole way down the 59 the other morning. I was infuriated. 70 with an empty trailer. And it wasn't windy. It wasn't icy. The roads were dry. She's calling out names. I know some of you watched the videos. There's got to be some Steve's guys in there. There's probably a few of you that are amazing, but it's the bad ones that are really giving you a bad rap, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. But every well, time I go down the 59, I'm stuck behind a bad Steve's livestock driver. Every time. Yeah, they are really slow. Really slow. Even when they're empty, they take seriously five to six miles. Longer than a, a loaded grain truck to get up to the speed limit. And then usually they only do about 85, 90 in a 100 yes. zone. This guy did not go over 85 the whole way. 70 to 85 and he kept dropping down. He couldn't maintain. It was just, it was embarrassing. I was embarrassed for the trucking world with this guy. So do you guys get paid by the hour over there or what gives? What's going on? Are you, are you guys limited at 70? I'm not saying all of you though. Again, I'm not saying all of you. There's probably some amazing ones. It's just that the bad ones stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah, because they have a mile of traffic behind them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> People were getting mad at me and I'm like, hello, I, I'm stuck behind this guy. Can you not see him? I'm in this little terrain and then there's this big semi in front of me like, hello, it's not me. Can't safely pass. Oh, we'll train you to be a better driver than that. I already am. I mean, I am, I've been driving a little slow lately too to save fuel, but only on four lanes when it's not busy and people can easily get around me. Not on the two lanes. I do the speed limit on the two lanes when exactly. there's people behind me. That's exactly it. That's exactly how I would drive. Mm -hmm. Like, you want to conserve fuel, but you don't want to hold up everybody behind you. What if there's an, a medical emergency behind you or something? Or someone's yeah. loved one is dying in the hospital and they died and didn't get to see them because of you. Like, common sense. Because of you. Because of you. I'm it's sorry, your I'm fault. I'm so harsh today. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I regret everything I just said. I'm so sorry. We're going to need to <laughs> comfort these poor guys. It's going to feel so things. bad. <laughs> Anyways, we got to get some stuff done here today yet, and then uh, we'll talk to you later. There we go. We're making good use of this netting that I bought. It's elastic netting. You can haul more now. Look at that. <laughs> oh. Whew. This long day is starting to catch up with me. I've been up since midnight. What's the time now? I don't even know what time. It's probably like 3 o'clock, I think. So, it's already been 12 or 15 hours. Whew. Okay, well, we got to get our errands done first. And then we got to pack up the truck. Get ready to go, and we might even leave tonight. Yeah, we won't go far. We'll probably just go back to the yard or something and sleep in the truck just so that we're ready to go first thing in the morning and don't have to load up then yet. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Diesel, Diesel. Diesel. Get in the car. Hey, 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 hey. Come here. You guys, stay here. Stay here, you guys gotta wipe your paws before going inside. It's kinda muddy out there, it's springtime. Come here. Sit, stay here, sit, 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 stay. sit. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Whoa. Children, <laughs> you know? Oh, you're filming. <laughs> yeah, children, getting all muddy outside. Okay. Diesel, no, Diesel, not not you. you. Come here, come here, Diesel. Get okay. Did you show them yet? Shake a paw. Good boy. Oh, good boy, Diesel. Learning new tricks. Okay, but that's not the trick that we needed. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, and four. Okay. Come on in, guys. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> the house was so clean. <laughs> it was. All right, everybody. Here we Hi, go. Hi, guys. <laughs> five days. Four or five. Huh? Four or five days. So we got everybody in here. We got all our stuff. An up excessive there. amount of things. We got dogs. Diesel. We got Chevy. We got Frankie there in the shadows. Wiener. He's very excited. He's shaking. He's so excited. <laughs> hey, little man. You excited? Oh, he's a little bit nervous. Never mind. He's a little nervous. He's a little yeah. nervous. 
<laughs> Mom's got weird. your back. Oh, poor guy. It's okay. You're yeah. gonna have a lot of fun. He's never been in the truck without Mitzi. That's true, yeah. It's gonna be fun, Frank, believe me. Okay, whatever you say. Oh. Oh. Party. Party. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We need to get going. We're gonna go get our trailer and uh, at least hook onto it and then we'll see how we feel from there. So thanks for watching today, guys. Tune in tomorrow to see how the first full day of a full truck goes. We're truckers now. It's gonna be fun.